challenging every pro golfer in the world to a match. I want to get back into professional golf, which means I need to start by challenging players that have done it before. First, we have three-time PGA Tour winner John Rollins. John is gearing up for his career in the Champions Tour, and if his recent gen scores are any indication, I've got my work cut out for me. This is just the beginning. I want to do a lot more videos like this on the channel, playing with high-level golfers. If you have anybody you'd like to see me challenge, drop their names in the comments below. Let's get into it. Well, all my hopes and dreams coming down to this one putt. This course is stupid tight. It's even tighter than I remember, and I remember it being pretty tight. It's gonna be a fun day. I sat back on that one a little bit. I need to get through it better. Normal spot. Yeah, this is not a very good way to start your day. 137 to the hole, but I've only got two big trees in my way. I'm gonna bring in the army and bring the ground game in. Try to go with a little low running hook, get it up near the front edge and see what happens. Ho ball. Ho now. Pretty good. All right, 77 yards. We don't really have just a straight up shot at it, so I'm gonna have to hit a seven iron, kind of bump it up there. It hopefully hit a, about as good of a shot as he did. Getting that thing to stop somewhere near the green is pretty good, especially with how dormant it is. Stop, stop. I have an awkward spot we're in here, especially winter in Dallas. This Bermuda rough is gonna be real, real touchy. Yeah, pretty good there. Really happy with that. Was not gonna be able to elevate that off of this lie, so just had to trust the bump and run. Ordinarily, I think if it was mid-season, the golf course was in really good shape, I'd pitch this golf ball, but given the fact that it's, you know, as you can see, it's a pretty tight, dry lie. I think I'm better off going with a putter, so we'll see if we can gauge the speed correctly. Oh, pretty good hop. Go! Yeah, that hop killed it. While these guys argue over strokes in the Wolf game, I'm just gonna try to knock into seven footer for par. Good putt. good putt. What I thought was gonna be a friendly match has all of a sudden turned into a little bit of stress here at the first, but Got in the wrong train track. Yeah, kind of just like bad luck <laughs> playing on the greens like they are today. It is what it is, right? It's golf. All right, well, telling me 230, 250 shot. I'm just gonna hit four iron. I think uh, that should be about right. Oh, that's a lot of wind up there, huh? Yeah, ain't gonna hurt you though. Yeah, I had a had a feeling left would be a pretty bad spot to be. Same. Last time I played this hole, I hit draw driver over the corner and had 30 yards in. It might be a little different play this time. I mean, you could have gone that route with this wind. I don't I don't know if it uh, would have gone too well for me. That's really good. That's really good. It's awesome you pulled that off. I've seen probably 100 people try. I got 180 here. Yeah, I think it's a firm eight iron. Bit of a draw lie, so that's gonna help. Just going about five yards left of it. Where's that draw lie? Catch piece. That's way short. <laughs> Definitely should hit seven. 177, that's with the adjusted uphill. 172 actual. Wind in off the left. Try to hit a low driver. And I overdid it. Yep, she's a long ways from home, but. We got uh, 75 feet, I'm measuring it in feet because I'm hitting a putter. But this thing's gonna absolutely hurl from left to right. Also, as you can see, we got some big piles of sand on the greens. Like we said, we caught this course about a day late. Now they're just a little sandy, but they should be rolling just fine. Might have to give this just a little extra to get it up that hill.
Not all bad. Look at how much that turned. That was crazy. 42 feet. Got to go up and over the slope there. It's going to swing pretty good to the right. Not bad. Yeah. Oh, settle. Things start creeping back towards him. All right, six footer snapping again mm -hmm. from right to left and uh, gonna make it. Thank you. You like that. Now what Gary Player always used to say, doesn't matter, every green is your favorite green no matter what. Oh. The greens are gonna be a big factor, I believe today. playing wolf which means that there's a preset order of play whoever won the last hole has nothing to do with who goes first so john 97 is what i got 97 even better what'd you get i like 93 okay well 90 93 is the yardage then but it's only playing about 210 <laughs> is that it all right 212 i haven't chipped one in short here in a while so oh yeah uh-oh hey there darling hey good darling oh yeah so good Nicely done. Okay. Is that what the face feels like? All right, John woke up. <laughs> That's gonna be a fun putt. All right, we got about 31 feet here, downhill. Not a lot of sand in our way here this time, just holes. Four punched greens, these are not looking too bad. They're not rolling too bad either, at least, you know, it's easy for me to say that I've made a couple putts so far. What is this, 15 feet, 13 feet? A little right to left. My partner Joel's a big cheerleader right now. Roll it in, brother. Oh, oh whoa. Uh -oh. Who is that guy? Now this just got interesting. Who is that guy? That doubles it too, doesn't it? Gosh, I hate when that happens. Man, I hate when that happens. So now I have this putt to remain one up. Two up, two up through two, and now I got a putt to possibly lose everything. Plus seven. Solid is in good shape. Solid. I got, you know, I got a little putting tip the other day from um, Stephen Bowditch. Actually, he told me shorten the backstroke, lift the putter up a little bit more in the through stroke. So I was kind of chipping it. I was almost like hitting down on it. So shorter backstroke, hitting up through it. I've been rolling it so nice. I'm just disappointed. I saw him yesterday and I didn't ask for any putting tip. <laughs> Stay right, stay right. Okay, yeah, bounce straight. All right, we got 337 in the middle of the green. Uphill, downwind. I think if I really catch one, I could get on, possibly. Sorry. Low wind. That's my partner. Kick left. Come on, hard. Oh, oh he hit the tree. Wood, bro. <laughs> hit the only roll tree. That feels like maybe the worst possible luck. From 52 yards, I think, is what I shot. Tough little angle here to that back hole location. I got to keep this right of the flag. Really? Oh, my goodness gracious. Woo, get in. Wow. Dang. I'm not even going to walk this off. We're going to, this is about to make everybody cringe, but 27 paces. That would be 81 feet. I think this thing is literally breaking 35 feet from right to left. That's the one thing about this golf course, man. If you're not close to the hole, you are dealing with a lot of undulation. Okay, so we're still not on the green, but we will be eventually, I think. I'm going with the putt. I think John's gonna make birdie, but it's stroke play. I just gotta make sure I don't make bogey here. Take that. Honestly, like if, if I decided to chip it and I hit it to that close, I'd be pretty happy with it. So four pars in a row. I'm just an absolute par machine. What can I say? I'm even. 
John's got a putt here to get the even, so if he makes this three footer, we're going to be all square through four. Yeah. There we go. I love that. Dripping it in over the front edge. Birdie, birdie. birdie bur of course, record watch. Back you know, they say all you. great rounds start with a bogey, so I made two of them. Not on the deck, but on this yeah, right yeah, up, I, in I, front of the clubhouse. Yeah. They put a tee back there for the black tee as well. Yeah, why not? It'd be pretty cool, but I mean. Why are you going that way? Go! So 80 downwind, probably these short shots don't get affected by the wind as much, but still probably 75. Try to land it somewhere around 70 yards. The difficulty of winter golf. Like you just saw from John's shot, this dormant Bermuda is pretty grabby. I'll reach up and take your club away from you. That's pretty good from there. So we were kind of between two options here. Land it here and risk putting it in the bunker with the green running away from us or hit it here and pretty much guarantee that we were going to have a putt at birdie. I chose the latter. What was a good drive has turned into a nightmare. All right, I got a 15 footer up the hill for birdie. With John Putton for par from 10, this would be a big make. Hammered it. Get in the hole. Oh! Got a, got a hold of that one. I've been trying to leave putts short with how fast they are, and I'm just not very good at it, unfortunately. For the first par of the day. Well, we got 322 to the green here. If I just nuke a driver downwind, that's too much, but I can hit a nice like flop cut around these trees and actually have it end up pretty perfect. So that's the shot I see, that's the shot I'm gonna hit. Oh, it's overcooked. It's gonna be okay though. That's all right. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> that hit that branch so squarely. Did I need to stop? Did I need to stop? I mean, <laughs> that was so flushed. I mean, hey, the beauty of this is it's going to be documented forever. Both the contact with the driver and the contact with the branch were so flush. 16 at Augusta, go with the skipper. No. <sighs> the trees have entered the chat. My best guess is 123. Okay. This could be one of the best pars in organized sports. Oh, that looks beautiful. Oh my goodness. That looks right on it. <laughs> Short again. Apparently it's in the bunker. Oh no. Another little fun tidbit. We're playing with a, a gentleman by the name of Marcus Jones today. He might be another guy we have on the channel soon. He was at one point the number two junior in the world behind Tiger. Played at UT, he's got a bit of a resume. We got 55 yards here. I'm holding the pitching wedge. I might be switching to an eight iron, just something to get it on the ground, get it rolling. Now we're going pitching wedge. Sit, oh sit, what a kick that was. Landed right on the down slope and just took off. We'll take it though, it's on the green putting. Get a little two putt par, maybe create a little separation between me and John. He's having a tough one on this hole. He's got so many bad breaks. Just nothing in the bottom. I predicted that John was gonna get up and down from the bunker. I did not see his lie. On a down slope with hard pan underneath, that's a tough spot. I gotta say, I really like his attitude through all this. He's just optimistic, despite catching a few bad breaks. That 
freaking hammered it. What, it. what was that? What was that? Hey, Ben. What was that? A left to right slider, 20, 22 footer. Sounds like an easy bogey. Just put me down for a 10. Didn't break. Huge six right there, huge. To only lose one shot after all of that is, is good. Uh, after a delay that I don't care to explain right now, we have skipped to the ninth hole. We're gonna finish this nine hole match on nine, 10, 11. Nine and 11 are par fives, so that's good. Uphill, dog leg right, driver. Take that one. This is complete. Yeah, no doubt. Do I do I have to wolf right now? For those of you that haven't played wolf and don't understand what's going on here, it's a five-man game. First player to go has to pick a teammate out of the next four players to hit. It's then those two players versus the remaining three. If the first player decides not to pick a player, it's called going wolf, which is what I'm doing here. I decided to go wolf, which means that it doubles the bet. So I'm taking this hole from essentially being worth two dollars to being worth sixteen dollars for me. So a bold play, but I felt like I was going to make birdie, so I thought it was the right decision. Now you understand why this hole might be a little bit extra nerve-wracking for me going forward. Hang right there. That ball had the uh, parachute out. Well, I have no, I have an eternity to the green. I got to hit a low banana slice three wood under the canopy of the tree just to get it back in position. Ben's ball is about a Walmart distance between me and him, so He's clearly got an edge here on the hole, but you know, this game is funny. We'll see what happens. Oh, it didn't cut. Should be okay. It's just gonna run up the left side, maybe off the path. If it gets far enough, I should have an open shot to the, to the flag, so not all bad. Playing about 240 uphill into it. I'm just gonna take a two iron, aim it at the left side of the green, try to peel it in towards it. Almost shanked it. Get a good. That might be okay, possibly. I don't think so, though. 86 yards uphill into the wind. Pins on top. You got to get it on top to have a, a decent look at it. I'm going to play this about a 90, 92 yard shot or so. Oh, John, where are you going? Not bad. Stayed on top, lucky, lucky. Hi, I wish I could have hit this two iron a little better. This was the perfect freaking golf club. 38 yards, looking for about a 30 yard carry. Pins are really not that, not in that tough of a spot, but really, really like to make birdie here. That'd be, that'd be big for the program. Yeah, nice there, Ben. Just staying up, stay. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, okay. All right, I thought for a second it was gonna just shoot right or shoot left down that hill. That would have been a real bummer. Very nice. Thank you. Birdie effort right here. This could put a little pressure on Ben's putt. He had a great chip shot, but that putt he's got's got a little, got a little break from left to right. So this one's got some turn right to left. You make this, it'll lengthen his putt quite a bit. And I'm gonna need it in the team competition because he's going wolf on us. So let's go, be the ball. I thought that would really turn more than that. Uh, I'll finish, I'll finish. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead and uh, knock that in for me there, John. Big yeah, good putt. Putt. <laughs> Get it close. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. oh. oh. Well done, Ben. Congratulations, oh, Wolf man. I was real scared after He's going wolf up. there. I went wolf and immediately was like, this might've been a bad decision. Made birdie in the match. I think I go up two now with two to play, that's good. But in the wolf game that we haven't been talking about at all, what did I just make, $32? I'm buying lunch, Jalen. All right, 
par four, 401 yards. Number 10 out of here at DCC. Very straight away, uphill and downhill, just trying to get on top of the hill. So into the wind, that might be a little bit of a struggle, possibly. Oh my goodness. Did it? Oh, hang right there. I don't know. Sometimes you just have to be lucky. My dues are paid. I got a wide open shot. Hundred and ooh, 104. I feel like we're getting a little bit of hurt across off the left. So I'm gonna try to just kind of feel a little gap wedge in there and try to control the shot a little bit. Took too much off of it. I have 78 yards here and a absolutely wide open golf shot. I was not anticipating this at all. Lob wedge in hand, pin is just sitting there begging for it. Go, go. Okay. This is a uh, paging the doctor moment. Oh, the doctor. Ah, uh, Dr. Chapinski doesn't know how to read the greens. About 20-ish, let's say 24 footer for birdie. Take a three shot lead going into the last, would like it. The first putt we left short all day. We did it. Is this you right here, Doctor? That's me, yes. I was gonna Texas wet blade that wedge in there for you guys. Well, we're gonna deprive the viewers of that. Gosh. I am even, John's two over, going into the last, but it's a par five, anything can happen, literally anything. Is that gonna be over the corner? Don't know. That's what we call an aggressive line. <laughs> I mean, if it missed that last tree, Yeah, if it missed like it, it's in great shape. shape. I know, I, I, I was wanting to cut off that line, but I don't hate that. Another nice tight lie. Jeez, into the breeze, 233. I don't know where Ben's ball is. I don't know if he's seen it yet or if he's still I don't see it up there. I didn't see it up there either, but. Maybe you got a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. Pretty good line, cut a little. Stay on. Top center of the green, yeah. Top shelf, top shelf three wood, I'll take it. That's pretty good. <laughs> Oh, I got a fight to the end. Oh, I just stepped on an anthill. Shout out to Sploosh. I just put my bag in an anthill. Okay, we're gonna take a little drop ski. We got a Titleist, Titleist. We got a Callaway too, 215 yards. We're gonna go behind these anthills because I don't want to be in them. We're gonna take a little drop. And I really thought that drive was gonna be okay. 202 flag, interesting, okay. Got a little bit of into. I got a six iron in hand. And honestly, like all things considered, a pretty good looking shot at the green. Kill it, wind. That came out so good. Just kill it, wind. Kill it. Sit. Oh, that's gonna be, that might be tough. It was about pin high, a little bit right. I hit that so good. We're gonna have to make a solid up and down to win this match. I'm gonna land this a yard short and just get it to trickle out on. I really hope it kicks through this stuff though. There's about a 5% chance it just stops dead, but we're gonna hope that doesn't happen. All right, skip through pretty good. I think that's like a three footer for par, which I'll take from there, that's tough. Well, all my hopes and dreams coming down to this one putt. I'm down by two, I got a putt for an eagle, so this has got to go in. Oh, 
take that far really all day. Go in. I mean, I wasn't, uh, you know. You are going to miss that. Yeah. Thank you. That was a lot of fun. Thanks for having me out again at DCC. One of my favorite courses in Dallas. Just really a hidden gem. If you ever had a chance to play it, definitely do. And I guess anything you want to promote, John? PGA Tour Live. PGA Tour Live. I'm actually going to be on Sirius XM this week. Uh, PGA Ooh. Tour Radio covering the uh, Cognizant Classic. Used to be the Honda Classic down in Palm Beach. You know, if you're driving down the highway, you're a little bored, you know, turn it on XM Radio and listen to the docile sounds of John Rollins or I'll be calling the action uh, for the golf tournament. It'd be a lot of fun. All right, well, shout out to PGA Tour Live. Shout out to John. And shout out to you. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one.